Probably my team's lead uh, software design and programmer. So um, I write all the software for our robot. We really like Robot C. Uh, we prefer the text-based, being able to actually code in text-based, and we find that that's uh, really helpful to be able to debug and read. It has really fast processing time for the brick that we're using. Robot C was not all that difficult to learn at all. Um, when I first started using the software, I was able to watch the videos that Robot C had online and uh, read a lot of the sample code that they have posted. And then I was able to go back go home, play around with the software, and I was able to pick it up by myself. One of the um, new features that we designed in, in Robot C this year was a function that we um, made called Protected Motor or P-Motor. Uh, what the function does is it monitors the rate of change um, on a motor. So it does that using encoders. So if a motor isn't spinning fast enough in comparison to the amount of power being applied, P-Motor will cut off the motor. So and autonomous, when the robot's running around by itself, another robot gets in the way, we run into it, the motors don't keep spinning, they stop. So it's basically another way to say we have stall out code. Um, our robot can hit, get blocked and we don't burn out our motors. Um, and we adapted that for use on both the um, carriage on our robot and the column. Um, so we took that code and we turned it into where we could use it for multiple purposes. This year has been one of my great growing years of learning how to do the software. Uh, over the summer when I wrote uh, P-Motor, I wrote it for the, just the NXT servos just, see, just to see if it worked, and it did to my surprise, and so um, that's when I adapted it for the Tetrix system.